And now to the hunt for those new COVID-19 variants. Scientists warn that the coronavirus will continue to evolve and mutate. We only hope into something that's not more deadly or vaccine resistant. ABC's Will Carr takes us inside a California lab that's investigating and has this report. The scientists in this Stanford lab are racing to get a grip on the latest threat, rapidly spreading mutations of the coronavirus. Do you anticipate that we'll be encountering even more variants throughout the rest of the year? I, th I think we will definitely be, be seeing more variants. I'm concerned about their further um, spread throughout the United States and the world. Dr. Benjamin Pinsky with Stanford Medicine says scientists are scrambling to learn more about the mutations and how the virus will continue to evolve. To the fear, if variants are more contagious and possibly more deadly, countries can lose the upper hand on this pandemic. Stanford's clinical pathology lab is analyzing thousands of COVID tests for the variants, and we were granted access to see how they do it. After those logs, the samples are brought to this extraction machine, which is a pretty cool robot. What this does is extract the RNA and DNA to see if the virus is inside. So each curve represents somebody who's tested positive for COVID? That's exactly correct. So each one of these curves represents uh, a positive sample. Scientists are looking for highly contagious variants from across the globe, one from the UK, another from Brazil, and the South African variant detected in South Carolina just yesterday. The South African strain appears to be concerning because uh, I think two factors. It appears that it is spreading rapidly across the globe. So it's now in 20 plus countries. Um, and in addition, there is evidence that is, it is resistant to antibody neutralization, which is something that could impact the efficacy of vaccines. There's also a new variant in California discovered by Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. They are able to compare the genetic sequences with the uh, genetic sequences of everything else, and they're able to see a recurrent set of five mutations that define this strain that we that, that we identified. That strain spreading like a California wildfire. Nearly half of the positive tests they've received have the California variant. The strain that we had identified really just appeared overnight and took over the uh, the 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 prevalence it started getting higher and higher in prevalence while the spike was happening. Scientists say it's normal to see viruses mutate. The question now: Will they become more lethal? I mean, what keeps me up at night is having a situation where we have a mutant that really escapes everything. I don't think that's the case because our technology is such that you could always make a vaccine pretty quickly with this advanced technology that you could address a given mutant. But it is concerning. But there is hope. The vaccines still give us protection against the current variants and drug makers are working on tweaks and boosters to address this new threat. A lot of people think that we're seeing a light at the end of the tunnel here. Would you agree with that? What would you say to people? I think there is reason for optimism. We just need to be vigilant about monitoring these new variants. Reporting in California, Will Carr, ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.